house hasn't been lifted. What do you mean? But I'm moving again. Only for a while. So long as you have that on your back, the curse will slowly take hold. You mean... the meat? I can't stomach any more. No, I'm afraid you're going to have to. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. <laughs> Do you think the maiden at the Harvest Festival would end up forced to eat meat? Kind of ironic there. We could, um, test something stupid, but let's just ask why it's happening. Well, that's because of the curse, of course. Why was Elena cursed? Why, indeed. Because <laughs> he seemed like a know-it-all. <laughs> I had to. I knew I was cursed. <laughs> What happened to the others? All sorts of things. Some fell into the hands of the Illyrian army and were dealt with. Dealt death sentence clearly. Is that something stupid? No woman's name. My name's Mavda. Don't you forget it. Just who are you? I told you this already. My people are the Vestra. We are traveling merchants. <laughs> I just want to ask something stupid. What is... What is on your back? Wow, man. You forgot already. Dearing me, I introduced you. This old fellow is my boon companion. He's rather shy and retired, I'm afraid. Oh, you up there. That's right, isn't it? I like how he kind of face bombed in the intro of this. <laughs> so I gotta admit, even though he kind of does look creepy, that's what makes him awesome. Let's try asking about the penis. What to do is to keep bringing beast flesh back from the towers. Though that will only weaken the curse, it won't hold it back forever. Clearly, as he said earlier. You mean weaken the curse? When the consumes the flesh, the changes will reverse. But this respite is only temporary. Yikes! I feel bad for Elena. <laughs> leave her as she is. The poor girl's transformation will continue unabated. If you can't slow the curse's progress, she will never be human again. Yeah, that kind of also ties into what happens when the cur curse fully take hold, takes hold, but we'll get into that in just a little bit, actually. So this is to be my life? To be cooped up in here, eating foul flesh? Must I learn to live like this? Can I not lift the curse? Lifting the curse, you say? Well, now. Well, do tell me, Lofter, please! Aaron, you must head back to the towers. Deep within each one, a master awaits you. Defeat these masters and return here with their flesh. If Elena eats this flesh, the mark on her back will fade, and she may be human once more. No! I won't hear of it! How can I ask Aaron to face such dangers for my sake? <laughs> of course. That's easier said than done. Most things are easier said than done, to be fair. Oh, that reminds me. I have a little something for you. This ought to be good. Belongs to many people. It's called 
Next morning. Wonder how Elena is. Let's check on her with the Z button. Nice of you, tutorial. Hey, Ready Klaus here. Welcome back to more. Let's play Pandora's Tower. Last time, while Aaron runs around in circles like a freaking idiot, <laughs> we went to the 13 towers to gather, well, a piece of beast flesh for Elena. However, several beast flesh. It didn't have to actually stop the curse, but weaken it temporarily, as well we just saw last time. This episode, well, let's find Elena with the Z button. So you can see exactly where she is. Whenever we do that, we're gonna have the observatory. Let's walk up to our doctor. Yeah, it's all cool and stuff. Us? Okay, right, right there. This gate, that new gauge that appeared. That is the level of, of affinity between Aaron and Elena. This is pretty important to raise throughout the game. Like, this can be risen by just simply talking to her, like, after every tower, every time you give her beast flesh, every time you gift give, or pretty much every time you talk to her, every time you, well, c come back to the, um, observatory, which is what you want to do. Sometimes just ran ran randomly talking to her will indeed raise Elfinity, so that's that's definitely good to know. Also, up here, there's nothing for us here, but occasionally there will be something here that you definitely, definitely want to collect. Alright, so right around here, this will, this will take us to the courtyard. Another, like, nice little area of the observatory. Sarah's going to the roof, and Sarah's going to the cellar. Now, uh, often there will be some, like, dried berries and stuff right here you definitely want to pick up. These, like I said, are good for something that we have yet to get into, so again, I'll just keep that to myself for now. Down here, though, there's also some items as well. Like, down here. Definitely gonna come down here. There is a lamp. And right here, a text. Restoring the chain. The reckless chain is a treasure of our people passed out from generation to generation. The power inside this mighty chain grows as a connection of all gifts as and attain abilities of our people. However, its power is not what it once was. 
and we cannot use it as, as our forefathers would stay. For the best start to return this turn to their former glories, Tain must be restored. So basically the uh, reckless Tain's power is in shackles currently and we need to undo and we can undo those shackles in order for the reckless Tain to be what what it once was. A pretty powerful weapon if that text is to be believed. But yeah. I have no reason to go to the rooftop as of yet, but I guess I'll, I guess I might as well show it off while I'm here, while I'm here in the courtyard. Even though there's nothing here, but that view, yo, it, is that not one of the most beautiful views ever of the towers? It, even though this is quite a dark location, I mean we have this vast fortress that's dead center of this huge chasm that's threatening to just basically tear the world apart without the presence of that fortress binding the world together. Yeah, despite that, that is a truly marvelous view. <laughs> Alright. Now they've gotten that out of the way, let's go and talk to Mavda. Dot, dot, dot. Great response. You can't afford to wander too far. The army will be looking for you. They're still after us. Without doubt. But you're safe here. What is this place? This was the observatory. The Orion army used to keep an eye on the 13 towers. But no one uses it anymore. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes the least obvious places. Um, I would think that if the Illyrian army had any brains, they would look in the least obvious places first. I got you. All I'm saying is, if I led the Illyrian army, I would check the least obvious place first, which, 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 which in this case would be the observatory. Well, well, it looks like you have some reading material. I'll buy that off you if it's all right with you. This yes, that's right. With each text you talk to Mavda with, she will pay you more Leons. So not only is it worth it for like story purposes, but it's also well worth it to gain some more money. So it's a win-win. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we can buy some stuff from Mavda, as he is a traveling merchant, as he said. So right here we have medicine, obviously he restores health, you have two of those already. Remedy, heal status, uh, status inflictions, we'll get into each status of a bit later. So, right here, tactical manual, what this does, well, it has combat, so basically it gives you experience points, that's all it really does. Rest in water, what that does, it has pain, we'll get into that a bit later, as we cannot afford it right now. Flower seeds, this is a fantastic gift for Elena, trust me on this, like, you want to grab plenty of gifts. There are some gifts that you cannot buy at the shop. Which we'll be getting to that momentarily. But for now, I think we are done here. You can sell any of your unwanted materials and items and such that are taking space in the inventory, or you can throw them in the trunk, which is also really useful. You can also use items and materials to create more items and materials, like this here the leather vest. Or you can just create a nip water, <laughs> which is uh, another material. Anyway, these um, gray items is tough. We don't have the necessary materials for like, like medicine. We would need one nip water and three dry berries, or one medical mo moss and a um, nymph water. There are seven methods that you can that require different materials. So it's definitely your incentive to go out and get as many materials as you can and 
well, sometimes particular um, materials and stuff. However, if you want, you can also use this method where you can actually select your materials and see what kind of item you can work from it. So, that is also a pretty convenient way if you want to mix and match different materials and create different items. But you don't know exactly what belongs to what. Yeah, because we spoke with her and we talked. Talk from her. We can get another text. A harvest to heart? Rumors have been running riot since the chaos that erupted at the Harvest Festival. All the rumors share a common thread. That a maiden, maiden became a beast. The singer at the festival was transformed into a beast that bared its fangs and assembled horns. And... Okay. The Illyrian army has said nothing since announcing that no casualties had resulted, but they are thought to be in on hot pursuit of Maine and her companions. What is the true story? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing, she has not turned into a beast, but she was on her way of becoming a beast, unfortunately. But yeah, remember what I, what I said about, um, gift giving? Well, we're gonna talk to Elena right now. Okay, we have a gift for her. We want to give that to her straight away. Like that um, lamp that we got from the um, seller and the flower seeds that we just bought. First, start off with the lamp. Here you go. Now, remember this was said, certain items. Well, it's a nice little cussing and, and a nice little boost of a thing. And just for talking to her, he got a little boost of a as well. Let's talk about what's wrong with me. Well, of course, we just figured that off from reading that text. That too gave us a nice little affinity boost, but we could we could do it for a little more. What did you say? Let's get rid of the flower seeds. Oh, we will. We definitely will. I have no doubt you're a great gardener. <laughs> but anyway, before we head out, we need to save here real quick. Well, because that's what the game starts us to do. Alright, right away. You see this chest here? This is the item trunk. Definitely instrumental. You want to store your materials here. Because your bag has a strict limitation. It can only hold 30 items at a time. Not 30 unique items, just 30 items, period. Well, excluding weapons. Well, your equipped weapon, anyway. Yes, these two medicines count as two items towards your capacity. So you definitely want to keep this in mind. Alright, let me store away your materials. Let's head up to the towers once more. Alright, so it's not only the fact that we raise affinity, but there are there are also gonna be some changes that happen around the observatory which we'll be able to observe later. Haha <laughs> Okay. Back to the treetop tower. 